for the best in universal premium ester containing engine oils and fuel additives for both petrol and diesel engines. Check the links in the description. So what's going on Gas Gang? Today we are back with an absolutely legendary video. Just look behind me. We have got a 900 kg fully carboned out 400 brake horsepower Porsche Cayenne R32 Turbo Mark 1 Golf GTI. Guys, this is going to be absolutely sick. So stay tuned and let's get it. Cracks from Vara Technic. Hey Welcome dude, to the yeah. channel, bro. Yeah, good. Bro, it's a good day today. It's, it a, it's a very it is, good day is, today is, because is my maiden voyage. This is uh, this is something special, man. Pretty much carbon bodied. Uh, it started life off as a Mark V BUB R32. Okay. Uh, we did the Porsche Cayenne inlet mod and stuff, and then uh, yeah, you know what it's like. You get hungry for more power, and yeah, then we ended sure. up doing a full turbo conversion, That's but we insane. managed to keep the. Porsche in it, which I know is good for about a bar. Okay. But yeah, she's a bit of an animal, yeah. Mate, this is, it's very, very unique. And we were actually talking off camera and you were saying this is only one of a few with this kind of setup in the world that you know of. Yes, that I know of. I know a couple of people have, that a few people have done the Porsche Cayenne inlet mod and stuff because it moves the air filter to the other side. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't seen the Porsche inlet mod with a full turbo that maintains the inlet manifold yet. Epic, epic. All right, tell us a little bit about the build, what's went into it. You know, like, I'm assuming it's a built engine, right? Yeah, it's a fully built, uh, fully built engine. Um, Wasna have actually sponsored the build, so shout out to them. Um, it's got fully forged pistons, rods, uh, everything's been balanced. It's got a fully built box running okay. a Quaife diff. Okay, okay. Um, it's still front wheel drive. Okay. Uh, we are talking about, once we up the power a little bit, potentially doing a Haldex conversion, which we've done a few for customers in the past. Cool. Um, what does it weigh actually whilst we're on the Yeah, so I know they're around 980 out of the box, I believe. With all the carbon, obviously we put a roll cage in it, it's got carbon seats. I would, if I had to put a figure on it, I don't actually know. I'd say it's probably around the 900 kilo mark. Okay, cool. I'd, so I'd, it's still a very, very light car in today's standards at least. Yes, definitely. And, um, Power to weight's gonna play a factor in this car obviously feeling faster than perhaps the power would suggest. Definitely. And what is the power of it? So at the moment, as of Saturday, we ran it at 400, I think it's 406 horsepower. Okay. And it's got 500 and like two Newton meters okay, of okay. torque. Which is a fairly safe and reserved figure for this build at the moment, right? Yes, so uh, the block should be rated for around a thousand horsepower. Mad. Um, and we ran it at six feet, so we're running it at nine at the moment. Okay. I know the inlet should be good for about a bar okay. before it pops, and okay. you'll have to go short runner and this and that, but uh -huh. I just really like the way this inlet looks. Got you, got you, got um, you. So yeah, it was a, it was, it was, it's a lot to squeeze into a small space, if I'm honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we use, uh, we do a lot of work with different companies. The car kitchen did an amazing job of the pipe work. He's made a charge cooler that pretty much fills See, the gap. This is cool. Why did you go for charge cooler? It's literally because It was just it's... space, yeah. Okay. It, it was either run, like to squeeze in the radiator plus the intercooler. Mm -hmm. A heat exchange is much smaller, but has a bigger space. But yeah. Because it doesn't need to boost pipe in into it. And then that heat exchange is then taking all the cold air and it's cooling the, it's cooling all the coolant in here. Epic. Um, Epic. You can actually, if you go on like a drag day or I do turn it into drag, there's no reason I can't just fill that thing with ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And freezing cold yeah, water. Yeah, for sure, for sure. To help bring the intake temps down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah. Turbo wise. Now, I mean, to the untrained eye, you look at this engine, you think, man, that's a cool big Porsche lump in there, right? Yeah. But where's the turbo? So what we did is we mounted the turbo way low down at okay. the back. I don't know if you can get a shot of it down there. Know. It is a full tubular manifold. It's running a GTX 30. Oh, I can just, I don't know R. if people can see down there, but I can just see the housing on the cold side, just yeah. about. I mean, it's plenty for for a front wheel drive car. Yes, yeah, it's yeah, plenty. yeah. It is a little bit nose heavy, I'm not gonna lie. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, Cause obviously I think the charge coolers and the heat exchange is holding about 12 to 15 liters of water. Got ya. And I'm pretty sure an R32 as it is, should be holding around 10 liters of coolant anyway. Got ya. 
but it helps that it's over the front wheels. It helps with grip. Um, but yeah, she goes. I've not actually tried launching her. We've, uh, we ended up breaking the clutch um, on the rollers when we upped the power. So okay. now we've switched out to one of those twin plate clutches. It's a bit noisy, okay. but I mean, I've only job. done about 30 miles on it. Um, <laughs> it is still in its bedding in stage, but yeah, yeah. It, it, it does grab the power okay. pretty well. Sick, sick, sick. Cool, man. I mean, look, the styling on this car looks absolutely insane. I've got to say that is definitely, well, it's a sight to be admired, <laughs> in my opinion, man. The carbon mixed with the crazy livery. Do you want to talk us through, like, you know, some of the carbon panels and what's been done to, let's talk about the design. We had the whole roof cut off. It used That's to be a sunroof insane. model car that had a bit of rust in the roof, which needed changing anyway. That is um, insane. So we did actually have the whole roof chopped. Oh, uh, wow. So we took out about 20 odd kilos, including the irons and the mechanism and everything. Mm -hmm. And we replaced it with a three kilo roof. Uh, obviously carbon fiber wings, carbon fiber bonnet, carbon fiber boot. I'm sounding like that, that <laughs> meme now, carbon fiber. <laughs> um, carbon fiber spoiler, perspex in the back. Yeah, that's epic. That is epic. That is epic. Uh, and obviously one of your favorites, carbon fiber seats. Yes, yes. Um, Shout and out all to the Tillet. interior panels of carbon fiber. The steering's made of carbon fiber. <laughs> <laughs> you are that meme, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I have, I have. <laughs> That's um, epic. That and is then epic. obviously we're running a we're running an old school hill climb Burge Cup kit, it's known as. Wheels wise, so they're BBS RMs, they're 15s. So they're nine and a halves all round. It's a square setup running Toyo proxies. Got you. Um, and then brake wise, yeah, believe it or not, it still drums on the back. <laughs> okay, okay. So we thought about we thought about doing the disc conversions and whatever, but what it is, the car gets so front heavy when you get on the brakes and the back just lifts itself up. Does it lock up quite a bit? It, it, they, a lot of conversions that we've even done on customers' cars, they I feel like you're on the you're on the brink of locking them up. Yeah, yeah. So what we did instead, we put a monster set of uh so they're two eight fives high spec monster blocks. Okay. Um they're billet. Um, and I'm running uh, full custom bells and rotors from high spec as well. Shout out to Powerflex. They're obviously one of the sponsors on the car. They've uh, supplied us with full poly bush throughout. Um, and then we've done uprated anti-roll bars and everything just to sort of stiffen the car up. Got you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, listen, I like to say the proof of the pudding is in the eating, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, I guess let's eat, bro. Let's eat. Let's go. Let's do it. you're ready bro, show us what it's made of. Like, 
yeah, honestly, I, I don't, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's yeah, it's this kind of stuff that really, really gets me going. I, I, I love this kind of this raw stuff. And I've got to say, even in these um, the tillet seats, a lot of people who don't know about tillet, I might have seen them in my uh, Integra. I've got the padding. These haven't got the padding. It's, they're still really comfy. I love how, how kind of reclined you sit, and I think it just adds to it when you're putting your foot down. It's, it's kind of like I'm just kind of. I don't know, I'm cocooned in like the, this crazy old school car and it's making all these wild noises, we're moving at the speed of light and it's... Yeah man, you got something special here bro. You got something special. Wow. Alright guys, it's uh, my turn in the hot seat and uh, again I want to shake your hand already bro because I, I love creations like this and I, I find myself maybe saying this all too often now but I mean, it's, it is, it's creations like this that really kind of embody what Officially Gas is about. And I'm lucky enough to have loads of like-minded, crazy petrol heads bringing their crazy builds down lately. So thank you, bro. Thank you for sharing this. This is, this is a, a one-off. And I can see the driver input and everything it, it, yeah. it takes to keep this in a straight line. So bear with me, guys. I'm not trying to be a hero. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You've had this car 22 years this year. So I would, I'm going to respect it. Do you know what I'm going to respect it? We're going to have some fun. But you were saying no one else has driven it except from you and your brother. Me and my, me and my brother, maybe one of like really close friends. But yeah, that's about it really. Bro, man. Thank you. See that? Definitely. That's love. Shout out to Varitech. I'm going to go for a little pull. I just just to get to yeah, used to it. Just just feel it. Frogs responsive, right? Yeah, I, I feel that moving around. That was, <laughs> I'm barely touching the floor and you're right. It's, it's old traits here, like, you know, the brake is, uh, it's servo assisted as you say, but not a lot. So you've got to, you've got to lean on the brake. There's a lot to uh, to bear in mind. If we drop it back down to second, I think second gear is uh, the one. Bro, this is, like, it's third gear when that boost starts building, it's when it starts getting scary. But uh, it's, it's weird because second gear is really short, but it seems yeah, it's like really short, third yeah. gear is really long. Like, you oh, know. Third lasts forever, yeah. man. I want to get this straight before I really uh, put my foot down. Bear with me, guys. It's these old cars that you've got to drive to catch you out. So, uh, yeah, I just want to be sure about this one. Right, third gear. <laughs> Bro, when the booth fully came in there, it literally... Bro, this, this it's, trying, yeah, it's, it's trying to spin the tyres, but it's just. Bro, that's, that's actually scary. Like you don't, like it kind of, like because the boost in third seems quite progressive. Yeah. You almost think you kind of got off lightly. Yeah, but yeah, when yeah, it comes yeah, in, yeah. like it just like whoa, bro, this is, this is actually intimidating. You know that. <laughs> and it's because yeah. like that, like the steering isn't as direct as your newer cars and things like that. You know what I mean? It's got a lot of characteristics. And um, I mean, we call them charm, but at the same time, it's. It makes it a bit techy. That's what they say, mate. You gotta respect your elders, mate. Respect it, it bruv. Respect your elders, man. Right. So we're going to end the video here. I mean, just at the right time too, because the heavens have opened. <laughs> trust it. And um, yeah, bro, thank you so much, man. It's been a pleasure. Honestly, man. guys, I hope like it's kind of translated what this build's about. I mean, it's just it's that old school, raw, lightweight kind of just you're driving. No, no driver age. You know the hard power steering, the brakes, the pedals all close together. Just to everything, right? You know what I mean? It's a, it's a proper driver's car. Um, and thank you for trusting me with it too because I know you had it for a long time there's not a lot of people who have driven it bro so thank you so much um, also I just want to big up Veritechnic too because um, you. you guys 
you've been telling me off camera about some of your other crazy builds uh, that you do. Uh, and we also, hopping in another car, uh, which you guys will see at another time, one of their other crazy builds. Uh, so that is just about to happen, uh, but we won't tell you too much about that. We just leave you on a kind of a cliffhanger. Um, but bro, is there anyone you want to thank? Anyone you want to shout out? Anywhere people can find you? Yeah, so follow Varotechnic on Instagram. It's at Varotechnic. You'll see a lot of the builds that we're doing at the moment. We do a lot of R32 VAG stuff, a lot of BMW stuff. Um, as far as this build's concerned, massive shout out to my older brother Sanj. I could not have come this far. I mean, this is like the fourth engine plus a turbo that I've roped him to fitting in into it. Um, all the aluminium turbo conversion stuff, uh, big up. Um, Alex at the car kitchen, he's done an absolutely amazing job managing to squeeze everything to such a small yeah, space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, just like uh, Anthony at Vinyl Matters, he did all our vinyl wrapping, he's actually in house with us at the moment. Cool. Um, and yeah, just everyone on the team at the workshop, like you know what they say, teamwork makes a dreamer. It wouldn't, it wouldn't happen without all of us there together. So, massive shout out to Barry. Caitlin, Kurt the painter, Chevy the um, the apprentice. Like, uh, yeah, without you guys, I wouldn't really have this car on the road. There you go. There you go. Man, you've done the award speech, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's so it, now yeah. you know. <laughs> but um, what I also will do is leave links to Varitechnic down below so you can find them um, and any other socials they'd like me so you can find anything down there. So, guys, as always, if you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up, uh, hit the subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And, uh, yeah, man, we will catch you on the next one. Peace out.